Good job, so you've written some of your first jQuery. Now you might be wondering, how do I get jQuery onto my web pages? Well, first step is to go to the jQuery.com web page, download jQuery. You can load it into your HTML page using this script tag you see here. Then in order to start using it, you're probably going to want to create another file, maybe called application.js, include that inside your HTML, and then inside your application.js, meaning JavaScript, you can start writing your jQuery right there. In this section, let's look at a few more ways we can find elements in the DOM. So here's some new HTML. You can see it has a UL or unordered list of different travel destinations. How might we change the text of every LI on this web page? Well, first we need to find all of them, and then we need to modify their text. Let's take a look at the DOM on this web page. First, let's figure out what the DOM looks like. So there's our tree. To select all these allies, we don't need three lines of code. We just need one. We just specify li, just like that, and it returns a jQuery object of all of the allies. If we want to change their text nodes all to Orlando, we simply send in the string Orlando. There we go. If we're building a big web page, it's not unheard of to have many different LIs inside many different lists and many different paragraphs, but we might not want to select all of them all of the time. So how do we fix that? Well, we can use many different CSS selectors to select particular parts of the DOM. So just like we were able to select P to select all of the paragraphs, in CSS, if we wanted to style an element with the ID of container, in jQuery, we just specify pound container. In CSS, to style an element with the class of articles, we just use dot articles. And in the same way in jQuery, to fetch all of the elements with the class of articles, we simply put dot articles. So let's jump back into our HTML and figure out how we might select that unordered list with the ID of destinations. Let's find it using the ID. All we have to do in this case is specify pound destinations, and that will select the element that has that ID. Notice here one of our LIs now has a promo class. How might we select just that class using the proper selector? In this case, we would just specify dot promo, and that would select all the list elements that have the class of promo. In this case, there's just one. Why don't you try your hand at using some specific selectors, and I'll see you in level two.